That title's not clickbait. I'm never doing it again. The SCX-10 II thing. I'm doing lots of other things though, still. Welcome back to the Skill Builders Guild. Thanks again for watching. Today we're taking a first look and build of the new Axial SCX-10 III Base Camp Builders Kit. This is a good day. I always appreciate a good kit, and I think that that's the core of the RC rock crawling, scale crawler, scale truck sort of niche hobby that we're all a part of. If you like to create and build and think outside the box and do different things than what was intended with a ready to run, a kit is where it's at. You need kits. We need kits. So don't stop not stopping with those. We need them. And I'm sure that this is replacing the SCX-10 II Builders Kit, which in its time was fantastic. But we are way beyond the SCX-10 II, and the SCX-10 III Basecamp is an excellent platform on which to create a whole new Builders platform. This is a great kit. Now, of course, uh, like any of the Builders Kits before it, it does not come with wheels, tires, electronics, or body. You basically just get the raw chassis. No bumpers, no frills. It's pretty bare bones, but the price reflects that, and it's a decent price too, I might add. Of course, if you're interested in one of these kits, I'll be sure to put a link down below where you can pick one up. Now, let's take a look at it. We're going to take this, this obviously, this is the Land Cruiser 200 series uh, styrene body that I have. Uh, it's not going on here. This was just for the thumbnail and to show you some versatility about what you can do. You can start with a nice tiny tired scale truck like this. You can go with a larger set of wheels and tires and maybe go rock crawling with it. You can set it up to have dig. You can set it up to not have dig. There are a lot of possibilities and Axial has given us a great kit with a lot of features. So let's pull this body off here and get a good look at the chassis itself. In fact, you know what? These wheels and tires don't come with it, so let's magically remove them. There we go, that's better. What you're looking at is an Axial SCX-10 III base camp. Now the big difference, of course, between the base camp RTR and the base camp builder's kit is that you are not getting portal axles. These are regular, everyday AR45 straight axles, which I much prefer seeing in a kit. Uh, it just says to me that they're going after a much more scale market uh, with this particular kit. They want you to sort of start from a more accurate place, and that's really great. Now, of course, the electronics are not included either. Uh, I'm running a Reefs RC RAW 400 low profile servo up front and a Holmes Polar Pro V2 2700 kV motor. I have not installed an ESC as of yet, because uh, literally this just got built a couple of days ago. I'm also using a Reefs RC 179 Smart Micro for the shifting duties on that dig. I've already installed and used that dig in last week's What's on the Bench video. I'll put a link right up here so you can check that out at your leisure. Uh, it is a great dig. It's so much better than what was in the original SCX-10 III RTR dig. So this one actually functions quite well, uh, and um, I'm already very pleased with it. Axial's decision to stick with this much larger and much more center-mounted three-gear transmission I have to I have to say it speaks to how reliable and how uh, robust this transmission is. While it isn't as scale as its SCX-10 III kit and RTR version, I think the base camp is an ideal starter point for a lot of builds. You can you can work around this. It's not as easy to do a full interior with one, of course, but you can do something at least. Should you want to run portals on this setup, there are additional gears you can buy in order to make the LCXU transmission capable of running those portals in the proper direction so you're getting the right amount of wheel speed uh, without uh, you know blowing up motors. Speaking to the construction of this kit, uh, the instruction manual is not the best. There are a lot of parts that look very similar to one another, and unfortunately, they're uh, not on parts trees, or fortunately, fortunately, or unfortunately, they're not on parts trees, so product numbers don't really mean anything, unfortunately. Uh, it does require you to look and kind of investigate each step before diving in. 
Uh, but if you've got any experience building an SCX-103, this should prove to be no trouble whatsoever. You do get nice aluminum bodied shocks, front and rear. Uh, these base camp shocks are pretty darn good. Uh, the way that they are constructed, there's a lot less likelihood of leakage. And so far, a couple days in, they all appear to be quite dry underneath. You do get six mil links throughout. Uh, they're nice beefy links. They aren't uh, as scaled. They do have the hole in the center, but I actually like using that hole. It makes it a little bit easier to assemble the links and adjust the length overall when you uh, set them up this way. We do have mounts for the clipless body system that Axial offers on most of their RTRs these days. Uh, there is also room for a servo winch to be mounted right up front here or in this configuration here, depending on the style of winch that you have. Uh, I've got a couple of those old school um, TZI winches from uh, Australia they'll be perfect for right up front here. So I may end up putting one of those in there. Wild boar drive shafts, uh, those AR45 straight axles, like I said before, they're a three piece design uh, in the front and basically a one piece in the rear, but lots of extra gussets and uh, buttresses and, and all kinds of stuff there to keep it uh, nice and beefy and to keep it all straight. What else can we say about it? It's a base camp. Uh, if you've had one of these in the past or seen any of the reviews that I've done or followed along on the entire Mayhem project that we did back there, there's a lot to learn on the base camp. Um, but there isn't much new to tell you about here other than you get to assemble this yourself and the pricing is very affordable. In terms of body options, uh, this is a 12.3 inch wheelbase as it comes out of the box. Uh, there are no options to create other wheelbases in this builder's kit. I believe the SE Extend 2 builder's kit did offer the two additional wheelbases that Axial is familiar with, the 11.8 inch wheelbase and I think there was also a 12 inch wheelbase option as well. This one features just the 12.3 inch wheelbase, uh, which is pretty common among most of the bodies that you could get. Speaking of bodies, in the box, there is a discount offer to pick up a ProLine body. So there is a discount code in there. Uh, you can use that to pick up a ProLine body uh, to put on this base camp, which is a pretty nice offer that Horizon offers in this offer. <laughs> so you're getting an excellent building experience, you're getting excellent price value, and really the only thing that's going to limit you with a base camp builder's kit is your imagination. And probably for me, the best part of any one of these kits is when I get to put my spin on it and do something with it and maybe do something a little out of the ordinary or unexpected. And Here's what I'm kind of playing with right now is this carbon fiber beetle body that I got from Josh. Uh, I've put some uh, Wild Peak MTs on here. This is just the, uh, I think these actually are the stock tires from the base camp actually. So uh, that's pretty appropriate. Uh, but this actually looks like it could sit pretty well on here and actually look pretty fun. Something like this has been on my list to do for a while. And uh, now I've got the SCX-10-3 base camp builders kit here and this just seemed like a match made in heaven. So we're gonna probably print up some mounts, uh, figure out some bumpers, and um, maybe even do a quick interior as well. When in doubt, bomber interior the world. <laughs> when I think about the Base Camp Builders Kit, uh, there is one thing that consistently kept coming back to me, and that's the word versatility. There really are unlimited options for what you can do with a kit that is as raw and as basic as this, uh, and to have this option without having to buy all the extra stuff, without having to get an RTR, this really does make it a very viable option for a lot of people, especially if it's your second or third truck and you want to do something that's maybe not on the radar of the big companies, this is a great opportunity for you to do that. In the box, you do get everything you need to construct one base camp kit. You also get uh, the option to run dual battery trays on either side of the sliders here, if that's what you want. Uh, there is also a waterproof electronics box that you can install as well. If you are not running waterproof electronics, it's usually good to put your receiver in one of those. The manual, of course, uh, which, like I said, isn't the best. Uh, but if you've built an SCX-10-3 before, a lot of this stuff will be quite common. Some things, it's just like, you know, like, as an example, they're calling out a product code here. 
that's not labeled anywhere on this piece. So unless you uh, look at it and visually know right away what part that is, there's no way for you to reference back to something to go, oh yes, that's exactly the part I need. Uh, otherwise, it is pretty easy to follow. And um, yeah, I didn't really run into any trouble when I was building this. I've built a few SCX 10.3s in my day. They also include body posts and body clips if you do want to put a Lexan body on. Uh, the, there are regular post areas here and they include all those parts too. There is also a pretty decent set of stickers included as well. You get a full-size axial sticker for the back of your real truck. Uh, you also get another set of axial stickers including some uh, sponsor stickers as well. And uh, new to the base camp, uh, I've never seen Axial do this before, but there are a set of license plates now. So you can run, especially if you're from California, Illinois, Oregon, Indiana, Pennsylvania, or Utah, there's a license plate for you. I'm not sure what they're going to do about the other 44 states. <laughs> there's also a selection of bumper stickers and some other Axial uh, logos and doodads. So that's pretty nice that they include those. Uh, and that's uh, that's it. That's all you get. Oh, also that also that discount code for a Proline body through Horizon Hobby. Um, what am I going to be doing with mine? I'm probably going to try to mount that bug body because I've been trying to find a project for that for so long. And I think this is exactly the right project for it. Will it be a hardcore rock crawler? Or will it be a trail truck? Only time will tell. And uh, but uh, I'm, I'm thrilled. I, I, I like that we're seeing kits still. Kits are very important to our hobby. And being able to buy something that's a lot more affordable to get you started. You may already have your own electronics. You may already have an idea for a project that you want to do. And you don't need all that extra stuff. This is the way to go. Are you going to get one of these? What's your first project going to be? Put a comment down below. You know I love reading through your feedback and I try to answer as many of them as I can. And if you're enjoying this video and you want to see more content on the Basecamp Builders Kit, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that notification bell so you get updates anytime there's a new video from the Scale Builders Guild. I think that's going to do it. Thank you so much to Axial for sending along the Basecamp Builders Kit and thank you for watching. We'll see you again soon. <laughs>